Y'all tuned in from the block, block, the block, the block to the booth, 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 with your boy Magnum. Me, you already know how we do. What it do? What's the deal? It's your boy Magma. You tuned in from the block to the booth, episode number motherfucking twelve. We got your best friend, your comedian, your radio host, all the above, actor, motherfucking every motherfucking thing. This man wear many hats, hops in the motherfucking build. What's up, bro? Appreciate what it do, you bro? having me. No problem, bro. You know I had to have uh, some of my closest people on the show when I get started with this thing. You feel me? I appreciate you, bro. Um, I want to know t first. Tell everybody where you from, what side of town you grew up on, all that good stuff before we get into the other stuff. Highland Park, Michigan, baby. Pillar. Was born and raised all my life. That's what's up, bro. Like, what, as far as the the entertainment business, which one did you did you grasp first? The comedy or the acting, ready? Like, which one? Oh, actually, music. I started rapping about five years ago. Um, within my first eight months, I was old enough to miss the premiere acts. Oh, yeah. That's what's and up. Then, That's what's um, up. Yeah, but it was a blessing. And uh, after a while, I started really not feeling music as much as I used to because there's a lot of bullshit on the radio. Right. So I just transitioned over to radio, and the rest is history, bro. That's what's up, bro. So, like, do you enjoy, so you said you really wasn't feeling music. Do you enjoy this this uh, radio personality more? I do give me a chance to interact with more with the crowd as well. Put music out there I feel should be heard, especially artists right. like Um, Like, uh, what motivates you to do these things that you do? talent to artists. I'm always a big music fan and when I just hear like certain shit on the radio, I ain't gonna call no names out, but right. it's just certain shit you know it shouldn't be on the radio. Right. And you have a lot of talented artists who's actually good lyrically as well as with the beats and shit. They just don't get that opportunity. So my goal is to give them that spot platform for, for right. Christ their music. And that's how I feel about from the block to the booth, you feel me? Like just just interacting with everybody, post it out there, book your slot, you feel me? I come pull up on you, interview you, it ain't no money thing, you feel me? Yeah. It's a love thing and trying to get us all out there to someone to look at, you feel me? Exactly. So I just feel like with you, you the same way. You build a platform, like I send my songs to you, you feel me? You put them out there for everybody to hear on your platform. Exactly, you free of charge. I never charge the artist to put that shit on my show. And I'm on iHeart, Spotify, Apple, Alexa, I'm on every platform you just gonna think of. And I just don't believe in charging my artist to get their music played. Right, like, uh, hey bro, I wanna say, Talk about your skits for a minute, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this man's silly as hell, bro. Like, if y'all watch this man's skits before, or even if y'all, like, you know, I don't know how long have you done them, but I know I watched a few of them before. But I want to sit and talk about, like, do you, you be having a spare the moment when you come up with these skits, or do you sit and think about these skits? Like, how do you formulate these skits, bro? Uh, a combination of both, bro. It's like, surprised that a lot of them are just off the top of my head, like within five minutes. I just sit there and thought of some shit, like, oh, let me record this while it's fresh in my mind. I just go ahead and knock it out. Yeah, and like, I see you uh, really involved in the TikTok since this pandemic bullshit, yeah, bro. Yeah, and silly as hell with that shit, bro. I'm like, this man, how silly as shit, bro. But no doubt, with the TikToks and my sketches, it got me the opportunity. I'm actually filming my first TV series coming up. Oh, shit, that's what's It's up, called bro. Indictive. Shout out to Natasha, who's the director, and Akila, who's the writer. You know, two black women actually doing this shit. That's dope as fuck. Shout and out to them. Shout out to y'all, and they blessed me the opportunity to give me one of the roles in it, so I'm very humble for that. So. That's, that's real. That's coming big, real bro. soon. Yeah, That's thank real you, big, man. Oh, see, everybody I hang out with, bro, or even know, bro, they doing something with they self, bro. So I'm trying to build a platform for everybody to get they, they peace out there. You feel me? Yeah, feel I appreciate me? that, So, because everybody, we don't have this. We don't have nobody pulling up on us in our comfort zone. We don't have no, it's hard to get an artist to come to the radio right around. Absolutely. If you got a radio show and you book st stuck right here, and you be like, hey, look, I got a radio show coming through, let's interview. That's hard, right? Hard as hell. Yeah, that's no idea hard. hard that shit. That's is. hard. So if I, when I say I'm pulling up, that changed their whole mindset. Exactly. I pulled up at people's houses. I pulled up people's studios. I pulled up while people getting their car washed. I done pulled up. You feel me? I pulled up. On you showing that initiative to put them out there. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You feel me? So, hell yeah. So it's not really about a money thing at this point. But if the platform get bigger, bigger. it's Absolutely. still not about an arm and a leg. It's exactly. just going to be a finger or some shit. You feel me? Because I ain't no greedy nigga. Exactly. And one thing that I did last week, uh, shout out to Ken Brands. Uh, he has an open mic called Sound Off Sundays. He had every two weeks. And I went there a few weeks ago and I'm sitting there watching oh, yeah, these I artists. There. They, they always reach out to me. You feel yes. me? Sometimes because I perform there once. Exactly. And they was keep on always reach out to me. And when they had their shows, either I had something to do. You feel me? So yeah, like you said, you was. Yeah, I went out there and I saw a couple artists perform. So I decided to go back two weeks later. 
and get a little initiative like you know if you get up here and rock this stage i'm giving y'all a free promotion as well as a free interview on my iheart show yeah, yeah, niggas went up there and killed that shit. Shout out to Truth. Truth's interview coming soon. He went up there and rocked that shit. So that's, that's a good promotion. So I think I'm start doing that like a little monthly thing Hell to yeah. get initiative out here. Cause you know if God bless me with the platform, I'ma bless everybody I care about. Hell yeah, that's how I feel, bro. Like shit, I'm like, hey, I do videos, but I really need something to to really connect to the artists, connect to the people I already know, but get to know them as an artist. You feel exactly. Shit like that. You know, I'm like, fuck it, why not? Reach out to everybody I know. Exactly. And I feel like you, you was one of the people I had to reach out because you, you an artist, you feel me, you a radio host, you a fucking comedian, you fucking, <laughs> you a book, a book writer, bro, you, you, you do, do everything, everything, bro, like you an actor, bro, you do everything, and I really had to get you on the show because I like what you're doing, and I see what you're doing, and ain't nothing negative been in the, uh, been in your way, you feel uh, me? Oh, no, all blessings my way, bro. And that's why I, I like, when I say I support people, I support everybody. Not just myself. I may not seen it a week ago. I may not seen it yesterday, but I saw it before. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's not like I'm just saying the shit just to be saying. Because well, I could see the growth in you and me and her and everybody. You feel me? I appreciate that. And man. it's not always a negative thing. I can't say, oh, oh, he posted that shit about me. Fuck such and such. Why? He just posted it about me, so we all can laugh. Exactly. That's it. That's the end of the day. And I feel like, yo, with your comedy, though, bro, sometimes... You take it to an extreme different level like it be all about it be all about the character though that's what be funny about it it be all about the character like i'd be like damn how the fuck this man just just like you said it come off the top of your head but how the what the fuck do you be thinking about when you be like okay look you probably looking at her some shit you probably some shit come to your head or some shit about you know about this area you feel me i'm just saying like what makes you, what trigger that though, bro? Like, I have no idea. I'm just a silly person. I find humor <laughs> in every goddamn thing. And I'm opportunist. So if I see an opportunity, I can make someone laugh. Or I see an opportunity to present something, I'm jumping on it. That's what's up, bro. Like this, in this movie coming up, what is it called again? Indicted. It's Indicted. A, it's a TV show. Oh yeah, TV show. Mm -hmm. So, um, like when is it supposed to drop or whenever? We actually start production, supposed to be the end of December. We just locked all the roles in. Okay. I'm starting as one of the main characters named Vince, so y'all gonna love this character. I'm an asshole, comedian, Aries. all types of shit. <laughs> Assholes are Aries. <laughs> but uh, yeah, bro, that's that's real big now. When when they called you to do this role, or like, uh, how happy was you when they called you or contacted you about this role? I'm still in shock. Guys, this has been a hell of a two years. Everything I just about wanted to do in this business, I didn't do within a two year span. And I want to say it's my talents, but same time, God works in mysterious ways. It was just everything falling to play. I said I want to do music, I did music. I want to do radio, won an award. I said I want to act, start doing sketches, and I'm in a TV series. So it seems like that's, you're lining everything dope. up. That's dope, that's dope because you was like, not fully forget my rap skills, but let's do something alternative because I still love music, basically. Right. And I still love the industry, basically. You just want to find yourself, baby. You found yourself. Exactly. You still do your music, but you find yourself through your radio personality, through your sketches. And I can see it, even when we right here talking, you feel me? Even if we off camera. You do make a nigga laugh when we smoke, when we chill, when we feel me? <laughs> I, can, I can send you my video. You could be like, say some, some silly shit or some shit, you feel me? What, what up, bro? You, you, you just inspire a nigga to be happy, to mo you know, to stay that way, you feel me? I appreciate that, bro. Because when, I'm, I don't know if my girl ever seen your TikToks, but she always on fucking TikTok. <laughs> so, it's like, I'm like, bro, it's a lot of talented people that's in my circle or, or that I know that's, that's growing. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Detroit culture in itself, far as comedy, far as rap, far as the movie roles? Because we doing good in the movies, bro. We doing hella, we doing hella I think Detroit good. has some of the most amazing talents in the city. Um, it's just a matter of fact of people coming here to notice us. They're right. going to go to places like L.A., Chicago, Atlanta, and look out for different material. But we got some of the best rappers, singers, musicians, actors, comedians, anywhere in the world. Hell yeah, we do. Like, if, if we pay attention, okay, I ain't going to say first because just since I've been, I'm 30 years old, since I know of you older than me, you know a, little, a lot more than me as far as the hip hop, but I'm saying Eminem and D12, that's who I know first got signed from Detroit type shit, you feel me? Royce the 5'9". Big Hurt, Blade, all, all these, All these people. <laughs> stretch, it's, shout out my brother Stretch Money. Yeah, shout out Stretch Money, I want to get him on here, bro. Um, I want to get Stretch Money on here and I want to get, um, um, damn, it's a radio host. 
I forget they name, but I want to get them on here as well. You know them. I want to get them on here. If I remember, I'm sending to you. Right, yeah, let me know. I'll definitely reach out to you. Because um, I just feel like if if we all just come together as a whole, we we'll get way more. Out way, this. way more. And you know what? And rest in peace, Proof. Uh, I used to bodyguard for Proof back in the day. And that was one of Proof's biggest things. He wanted everybody in Detroit to come together and want us to be on some like ATL shit, on some Houston type shit where all the rappers make up, ain't no beef or nothing. So when he died, that kind of fucked up everything in the city, but Proof was on that road to try and do everything now. And shout out to Big Sean, cause I see Big Sean trying to Yeah, I was about to say well. shout out to Big Sean, cause he's doing his thing though, like uh, with that Detroit Cypher. With, uh, he got T-Grizzly, Cash Dow, yeah. Cash Kid, Drago. He got all them on there that we listen to every day. Yeah, yeah. Now we don't listen to, some of us listen to Big Sean every day, but we listen to them people every day because that's who we hear. That's yeah. who people Sada talking and all about. Them. Yeah. yeah, Sada all of them. And for him to do that, Put them on a bigger platform. That's so much respect. Yeah, they, that, they that just shit. he just put us. He, it was light. It is light on us. He just put an extra light on us to make to make people be like, damn. If they got these niggas, who the fuck else they got? Exactly. And yeah, Detroit got so much talent, y'all. This is ridiculous. I, was about but I know to say, Gemini. Shout out to Gemini. Yeah, shout out to Gemini, bro. He's silly as hell, bro. Yeah, he's silly. That I laugh, feel like bro. if y'all, if you, if you come up with a skit and call this man to do it with you, y'all to kill that shit, bro. It's like, it's it'll be like a. A Steve Harvey in a fucking Cedric the Entertainer, entertainer type, type shit, shit bro. Yeah, we can send him man, when the funk hits the fan. We can do that, Gemini. Get at me. That, that shit'll be funny, bro. Because I sit and I know him, I know you. You feel me? So it's like, damn, come together, bro. That shit'll be dope, bro. I'm definitely not. I work with anybody. I'm not one of them niggas that say, I ain't working with this nigga, working that nigga. I work with anybody. If the talent's there, it's not even about the money at this point with me. Right. Uh, the money always gonna come, but the talent and opportunity, it could be taken away at any moment so hell yeah if you're an artist or you want to get your shit play or iheart on my show just pop 725 on everything hit me up i ain't got no problem pushing your shit absolutely free that's what's up bro and that's real big because you know a lot of people out here for the dollar yeah. like like how i feel about today's music is it's all about a dollar like exactly. it's no meaning behind half the shit we listen to only a select few still have meaning behind it and they have a message but a lot of people don't you know, we just believe in putting back into our city. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like I won't say, I will never say personally to you, if you an artist and I see you trying to make it, that, that your music suck ass, your music whack. I'm gonna keep telling you, hey look bro, that song might not be for you, but keep going. Exactly. I ain't about to just tell this nigga, oh he whack, he garbage, stop. Exactly, because why? what he make might not hit you, but might hit 20,000 niggas yeah, over here. I'm so. saying, but why tell a person that to shoot their dreams down? That's like, I don't agree with, we go get we gonna break this shit down right now because you a real nigga. I don't agree with the L whatever that community is. But I respect it. It's a difference. You mm -hmm. feel me? I don't agree with it, but I respect it. Mm -hmm. And how they putting this shit out on cartoons, how they putting this shit out on regular kid shit. Yeah. I don't Explain agree with none of that shit, shit like that. Yeah, I don't agree with I support him. Like I told yeah, I, 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 think support I, him. I think I made a post a couple weeks ago. It was like, I don't care if you're black, white, straight, gay, lesbian, I roast the fuck out of you. It there's no hindrance. I will roast anybody. So right. I mean garbage told me to fuck you. So it's just a lot of shit they putting out there and I support it, but I just feel like give kids opportunities exactly. to grow up to grow first. up and experience themselves instead of putting in their in cartoons head. and Oh I wanna do this, like I wanna do this. Yeah. Why? why? They I mean got I support parent, I got But they got a parents to talk to. Hey look, we 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 I'm I, I like girls and, and there's people out here that like the same sex. Mm -hmm. You know, you can talk to a kid any any type of foreign fashion without saying them words like gay or lesbian you don't have to say the word but they've been doing that shit though because bert and ernie been uh, getting bert and ernie was... been bad be, be buddies for the longer so <laughs> since I was they came out i was TV. like nigga i ain't surprised by that shit at all yeah but see it's just it's just it's not surprising it's just they just throwing it at the kids yeah. like that we grown we unfortunately already knew about the shit it's just it's getting more known and more like bigger and fucking bigger and bigger yeah, yeah. and with 2020 man Nothing surprised me. I was about to say, yeah, nothing. nothing. Yeah, man. We, we gotta do better, y'all. As a people, as a whole, as a city, as a fucking world. Shit, we do. Because, I don't know, what's what's coming next, bro? For you, I'm talking about. Like, what's coming next other than a movie, bro? It, I mean, before the TV show series, what's coming next, bro? Well, Culture Shock looking to go on tour. 
We're looking to do a pop-up podcast shows in different cities. We got fans in Nashville, Alabama, Cali, New York. We even got fans overseas. So right now we're trying to put something together, get some sponsors together, reach out to our fans so we can go travel these state to state and actually reach out to them. And my goal when I get there is put artists on there that's big in their cities too. So it's just not a Detroit thing. It's like put everybody on there actually got that talent. Right. So it's not just a Detroit thing. That's how I feel too. If you got talent, man, go for that shit. You feel me? Let me if you got talent, let me give you to him. Who gonna see you to him? Who gonna see you to him? You feel yeah. me? Like that, that's how I go. But a lot of us try to hinder the next from doing it. Yeah, and that's I'm gonna be honest with you, that's one thing wrong with Detroit. A lot of niggas in Detroit hate on the next nigga that's coming up. So even a motherfucker in the position where he don't have to do nothing, he's not gonna reach back and help the next man he's trying to solidify his position. And it shouldn't be like that. Everybody should be on the same team. Right. Like bro, how do you feel about um about like the radio scene, like far as like the internet radio, like how do you feel about it? How do you feel that it's giving uh people an opportunity to send their music uh to that internet radio or them stations or whatever? It's a good opportunity. Um, it all depends on the DJ itself and what the DJ has in mind. Because some DJs is like me. They willing to put artists on. Some DJs are all about a dollar. Right. Some DJs is not even to push your shit. So it's just a matter of the actual DJ. Right. And you've been you've been through so many, so many radio homes, bro. Yes, bro. You've been through Within so a year many and situations. A half. You've been through so many situations. And it's like, I won't say all of them was failures. All of them was just lesson learned all the stepping stones stepping to a better stones, opportunity yeah and i want to say like you, you sound like you found that that podcast that home that you never want to move from like that you're going to keep continuing to, like you say you're about to do pop, pop up podcasts and shit like that that's still one network well the best part me and my father decided to go independent because we where we seen the LDs radio station doing their thing while well, we can't do our shit right so we took that risk and within three months thank god i heard picked us up here from there, everything, everybody else just start falling in line. So that's what's up. It's best for you to take that initiative, step out on your own, because you never know what can come your way. Right. Um, tell everybody where they can find you at, bro. All your social media, bro. All right, D Hobbs Powers on Facebook, Hobbs Seven Two Five on everything, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Make sure y'all check me out. All my material on there, as well as my music. I go by the name It's Magma. Y'all tuned in from the block to the booth. Episode 12, man. Holla at y'all. We out this thing. What up, though? It's your best friend, Hobbs. You're chilling from the block to the booth with your boy Magma. We about to get this shit in. Let's get it.